for this one, I want to find the slope at this coordinate. Now, for implicit, it has to be a coordinate, not just an x value, to find slope. So let's first derive it. This is a product rule. So the derivative of x is 1. And then you leave cosine y plus leave x. And when you derive cosine, that's negative sine y. But don't forget the derivative of y is y prime. A lot of people forget that y prime right there. Equals the derivative of 1 is 0. Now, if you forgot that y prime, you should notice there's no y prime. So how the heck are you going to find a derivative? You know, if you forgot that, it wouldn't make any sense because there's no y primes left. So basically, again, the chain rule, the derivative of y is y prime. I could try to simplify this for y prime, or I could simply plug in my values now. I'm going to plug them in now. Ignore the 1. So cosine y, which is pi over 3, plus x, which is 2. Can I make that a negative? Because that negative right there? So make that a negative 2? Because x times negative 1. Sine, and y, what's y? y again is pi over 3. And then you got y prime equals 0. So from there, I'm going to get y prime by itself. But what's cosine pi over 3? That is 1 half. What is sine pi over 3? Is that square root 3 over 2? So that's going to be minus 2 times square root 3 over 2. And then don't we have a y prime here and it equals 0? Doesn't this look nice? Cancel. So I have a, uh, could I simply minus my 1 half over real quick? And doesn't this mean I have negative square root 3 with a y prime equals negative 1 half? And what do I divide by? Negative square root 3. You divide by negative square root 3. Your derivative looks like it's going to be. Will this go to the top or bottom? It goes to the bottom, because you divide, you flip and multiply. A negative or a negative is a positive. So it's 1 over 2 square root 3. Now, is that appropriate? Sometimes they're fine and dandy with this. So this could be an answer. But sometimes you don't want a denominator of a square root. So if you don't, do you understand you can multiply top and bottom by square root 3? And your answer could also be the square root of 3 over, isn't that 3? 2 times 3 is 6. Could it also be that? This is an or here. Either of these are answers. This is probably better, but it's possible to have that answer. They're not as picky in calculus a lot of times, leaving square roots in the bottom. It just tends to be that way.